guys, so this is Let's Talk Life, and I am coming to you today to speak on self-care. Um, as you see, I have my tea, and it's lavender. Um, I really, really enjoy lavender. Lavender is very relaxing, um, and it's pretty, too. <laughs> you guys can't smell it. Sorry. Um, but... I wanted to, to talk about self-care because I feel it's important and it's something that I didn't learn about until I would say 2009 and I remember taking a, a being a part of a program called uh, Guarantee 4.0 if anybody's heard about it it's pretty cool um, you literally make a roadmap for getting a 4.0 did I get a 4.0 no because I didn't follow the roadmap but I did take away one very important thing. And one of the questions and one of the things that it um, prompted you to do was to determine what you would do to relax, uh, which we don't always think about. We always think about what we need to do to get things done, to earn money, to uh, take care of the house um, and all of that good stuff. But what about relax? You know, self-care is very important. Um, didn't know that then, now I know it. And so what I wrote down in 2009 was that I would um, take bubble baths, I would drink tea and I would read books. I, again, I didn't even get a 4.0 or follow all the things, but that really stuck with me. And that's the one thing that I really remember from that. And later on in life, when I was able to have the time to take bubble baths and drink tea and read books, I started to do it more. And the more that I did it, the more I flourished, the more that I filled my cup up by taking the time out to drink a little tea, read a book, and uh, spend some time in some suds, the more I was able to pour into others. And you're probably like, okay, Destiny, who cares? Like, yeah, you figured out how to take care of yourself. You drink some tea, whoop de doo I am sharing this because maybe you don't have a self-care practice and maybe you're struggling in certain areas of life and you can't figure out why. Maybe you feel like you're doing all the right things, but nothing is working. Um, Maybe you're tired all the time. Maybe you're stressed. Maybe you're emotionally drained and you feel like you have nothing else to give. And if that's you, then I can relate and I have been there. I have been, um, shoot, on the side of the road yelling at my friends, um, looking like a crazy person because I was to my breaking point because I did not know how to take care of myself and to say no and to say I need this time for me. Um, I have been sitting in the car with the guy I'm dating in tears for what looked like no reason, um, but was really because I had not taken the time to take care of myself and was not able to fully function in a healthy relationship. So if you are struggling or if you even if you aren't struggling and maybe you just know that you need to implement some type of self-care practice, uh, I want to challenge you to discover what it is that you need to do for you and what, it, what kind of self-care practice you need to implement for you because I know you'll flourish. I know that if you take the time to take care of yourself, you'll be able to be your best self and to help others. Um, I probably look crazy right now. I really don't care. I just came from class. I had a long day. Started my day at like 6.45, I think, and um, been going ever since. I've only had probably some a few pieces of pizza. I'm going to eat some food, too. It's part of my self-care. Um, but yeah, I just, I really wanted to share this moment with you guys because... I want you to find what's best for you. If you have any questions about how I discovered uh, what self-care I, practices I needed to put in, implement, then leave me a comment. I would love to share resources with you. Or if you have uh, self-care practices that work for you, I want to hear about them. Like, do you ride a unicycle around your house? Or do you, um, I don't know, cook, clean? Um, what is it that works for you? I want to hear about it. If you like this video, like it. Um, let me know. Subscribe if you want to see more. Uh, and I'm looking forward to hearing you guys' feedback and about your self-care practices. That's all I have for you guys. Until next time, this has been Let's Talk Life. Um, have a wonderful day.